Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. Here we are on episode 4, and I've done some stuff in between episodes. I started off by looking for some buried treasure from various uh, pirate ships that I've, sunken pirate ships that I've collected, that I've found, and I collected 12 golden carrots, 3 diamonds, 2 hearts of the sea, 8 emeralds, 20 iron ingots, and 47 gold. Now I still do have 2 more treasure maps left, and I actually went and looked for them, and I know where they go. I just couldn't find them. So, that'll be something for the future. But I've done a little bit more as well. Over here, I've got some crops going. I've actually filled them out now. And I'm harvesting them as much as I can. I finally put the little stone brick slab right there to make it look nicer. Right here, I have this neat little contraption. I like it a lot. So check this out. So we've got two observers and a piece of string right there so when I open this and I fall through it it closes the trapdoor above me I could do this forever I I love it it's one of those simple contraptions that like just works because now when I jump out I won't fall back in now right here I built some stairs and you can see that we've got iron golems so you probably know what that means but yeah we've got stairs iron golems that means that we've got some villagers oh a third one yeah, I've got my mending guy. I haven't got a mending book yet. I'm still working on getting some emeralds. I've got a farmer with a wheat, potato, and pumpkin trade. Who else? Who else? Who else? I think that's it. Yeah, I'm, I got ten beds over here. Fit nicely into this little space over here. And, yeah. I also put a little jack-o'-lantern right there that I found in one of the villages that I explored. Even more, I've got some sugarcane growing now, like it's actually properly growing, not just a couple pieces. So I'm using that to trade with our with our um, librarian, and I also have a cartographer in here from when I grabbed the villagers. He's somewhere in here. Where's my cartographer? Did he stop being a cartographer? I guess so. Okay. Now, despite all the nice changes of the villagers, they're still pretty glitchy. So, to get this, to actually form a village over here, I had to go over to the old Acacia village where I got them, and I had to break all of the beds and replace them so that the two villagers that I grabbed wouldn't be attracted to their beds anymore. They were spending a ton of, a ton of time over in this area. But now they're not. Now we've got an actual village over here. Now, while I was out exploring, I also grabbed a brewing stand from one of the villages that I went to. So I want to see who... Alright, so it's Rotten Flesh and redstone dust to level him up. So I think I want to get this guy going, because I'd like to get ender pearls from him. And maybe, I don't, I don't know if you can get nether warts from him. I'm not sure if, that, that, if that's, I trade emeralds for nether warts or if I trade nether warts for emeralds, but I'd like to get him leveled up. And I'd also like to get a zombie over here, but I'm also going to need to go to the nether and find another fortress to get blaze, blaze rods and blaze powder so that I can use the brewing stand so that I can get a weakness potion so that I can uh, so that I can get the villager to be cured from a zombie. That's going to be a long process, but I would like to do that this episode. All right, everyone. Here we go. I am in the swamp. I'm it's almost a full moon kind of. That's what the moon looks like tonight. And slimes spawn more often on a full moon. So I'm in the swamp looking for slimes. Oh, I see one. Perfect. Just what I needed. Now, honestly, I'm not quite sure what I want to use this slime ball on yet. If I want leads, I'm also going to need to kill some spiders. There we go. I think I saw... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Here we go. Some more slimes over here. Let's hope they yield slime. One of them does. Is that another one over there too? That one does. Nice. Six slime balls. That's decent for not using looting or a slime farm. I think I'm gonna head back home. I, I have two string. Alrighty everyone. I took those six slime balls that I got and I turned two of them into leads just so that I can wrangle up stuff when I need to really. Specifically the iron golems. My goodness. They're goofy. But next, I did finally find 
another fortress. So I think I'm going to go there. I've got my shield on me. I've got my gold helmet. So I want to go there and I want to try and get blaze rods and nether warts. I'm a little nervous and I might turn back. But let's hope this goes well. Now, if you're wondering where the nether portal is, oh, right over there is how I get back up to my portal. And the path to the nether fortress is right over here. And it, it pretty much just leads straight up to it from over here. So I'm coming up the staircase, and I take a left, and boom, there it is. Alright. There are some blazes. I need to get across this lava so that I can actually get into it. Alright, this lava just about cleared out. I guess it's time I make my way in here. I'm kind of dreading this. Should have brought more torches. I've already got some chests, though. Was that three of them? No, two. Okay, obsidian. Gold ingot. I'll take it. Diamonds. Diamond. <gasps> Nether wart. Awesome. So now all I need is to kill a blaze. More diamond horse armor, more iron ingots. Okay. This might be a quick in and out. I'd really enjoy it if it were a quick in and out. Jeez, diamonds galore. Oh, I hear a blaze. I think they're above me. Here we go. No place rods. Two saddles and more gold. I'll say we've got some we've got a lot of good chests in here, that's for sure. Oh, there's Mr. Bad Guy. I think he fell down. Where are more blazes? I have no clue where they are. I don't want to get hit off. Oh boy. There's a blaze spawner over there. So yeah, I guess I'll just sit here for a minute and I'll grab as many bla- just maybe about five to ten. I think I'm satisfied with four. Alrighty everyone. That was one successful trip to the nether. So I got some blaze rods. I turned some into blaze powder for uh, brewing. Got two pieces of diamond horse armor, two saddles, I'm gonna need to get a horse soon, and a few diamonds. And some iron too. Which, by the way, I'm gonna make an anvil real quick. I feel like that's gonna come in handy soon enough because, you may have seen in there, I finally saved up my emeralds and got a mending book. So, I think it's time I get another new enchantment on this pick, or at least try for another one. And if I don't get a good one, then I'm going to have to go and get some more levels, because I really just want to get my pickaxe to have the Fortune th fortune 3 and Breaking 3 and Efficiency 4 right now, and then I'm going to put Mending on it. Alrighty. What do we got? Yes! That was the second enchant. The first one had Efficiency 3, so I just gave it a one level enchant just to uh, not waste anything. And this very second one, well I guess third one on this pick, because of the breaking three at the beginning, the very third enchant on this pick had the efficiency four, or the efficiency four, the unbreaking three, and the fortune three. So now I can put mending on this and make it a little bit more special. Let's see, where's this? Alrighty, that's looking good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna be mining in style now I'm gonna go to the nether real quick, mine some quartz, get my pickaxe back up to about full, full durability. And now before I get started with anything else, I'm gonna make another small little expansion to the base. And in the center of it is gonna be a little tiny nether wart farm. Now, the next goal I really need to accomplish is I need to get zombies for purifying villagers and whatnot. Getting their trades lower. 
Or at least just a zombie. I don't need multiple. So, I think I'm going to spend this night, that's a, this next night that's approaching, getting some zombies. So, I keep on saying zombies, but I really just need one zombie. So, I'm going to get a zombie. And, well, hopefully I'll get a zombie. Hopefully I'm successful. And I'll be right back. And I'll be right back once I find one. Alright, everybody. Another night approaching means another opportunity to get a zombie. Now this is really my next step in this game. Or at least how I play the game. My next step is really to get a zombie. Like, beforehand I was like, okay, you can either get a zombie or go to the nether. But now I've gone to the nether. So this is like, this is what I need to be doing to get my villager system going. So I'd like to catch a zombie. And I guess I'll be right back with you guys when I find one. Yes. Perfect. Just what I'm here for. All right now, buddy. Come on in. We've got a couple. We've got a few. Oh, am I getting a zombie horde? I know those are a thing. All right. Got a couple options in here now. Can you hold items, my friend? too bad. Now, would you please wear this for me? Please? Alrighty, everyone. Here I am in my redstone test world. Now, if you saw in that last clip, that zombie can't hold items. Now, some zombies can hold items, and some can't. That one can't. So, I need to see if I can force him to hold items using a dispenser. Alrighty, everyone. So I've simulated what I've got in my actual world right here real quick. So in this dispenser, I've got an iron sword and an iron helmet. So I want to see if this zombie will actually accept those. He won't take the sword. He won't take the helmet. What about outside of the minecart? Won't take the helmet, won't take the sword. That... It makes this a little bit harder. Now at this point, I can either decide to get an, an entirely new zombie, or I can decide to work with that guy and let him kill all my villagers super slowly. And honestly, I'd like to have a zombie that can just hold items. That would make it a lot easier on me. So, sadly, that zombie's not going to work. I'm pretty sure if I did that... Oh! Yes! 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 You are, you are the one! Let's come this way a little bit. Yes! All right, everybody. We got a zombie that has a helmet and... Oh, I put the helmet on him. And he can hold items. That is exactly what I needed. It's a separate day now. And if you can hear, I think the audio might be a little better. If it's not, then that's too bad because I spent some money on making the audio better in my room. I just looked to the side in Minecraft as if I was looking to the other wall in my room. Oh, I'm kind of getting bombarded here. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm gonna go sleep. That's exciting though. Now we've got now we've got a zombie. That's good. Alright everyone. Here I am, back down here. I found two zombies that can hold items now. So I guess I may as well catch this guy, since he won't despawn. Easy enough. Oh crap! Okay. Caught two zombies now. Alright, everybody. I've got this zombie right here trapped in a minecart now. So, that's good. Now I just need to decide where to put him. And I'm thinking either somewhere in the middle of the lake or somewhere right over there. Alrighty, everyone. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to do a quick little mining session and then I'll be right back.
Alrighty, everybody. That was one successful mining trip. And I'll say finally, too, because <laughs> I haven't found any diamonds since the beginning of the series, really. Alright, everyone. So I've decided to build the zombie conversion villager chamber thingamajig right here. Now, it's going to be pretty simple. All I really want to have is an input and an output. And then I want to have a space for the zombie. And that's all I'm probably going to get done this episode, since... I'm not sure if it's running pretty long, but I've certainly been working on this episode for a while. So I'm just gonna go into it and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done. I gotta push him. Okay. Hey everyone, in the next couple of clips, there's a couple spots where the video freezes, and that's just because I had a ton of tabs open on my computer, so it kind of lagged out my recording software. Sorry about that, I'll make sure it doesn't happen in future videos. Alright everyone, so this is the system. It's not entirely complete. All I want to do is I want to put iron bars here, and you'll see why in a minute. So, I put the zombie in here. Oh, I actually need to give him a tool so that he can actually hurt the villagers a little bit faster. But here's the zombie. This is the input line. The villager will come in through here, and then he'll get hurt by the zombie. And then when I'm ready for that, because it's it's a manual system, I hit this button, which is linked up to the rails right to the powered rails right there, which will then shoot the villager up here, and it'll land them right on here, and they'll get stopped by this so they land directly there. And then here I can choose which workstation I want them to have, and I can reset their trades until they have something that I like, and then I can send them off. Alrighty, everybody. Sadly, I think we've come to the end of this episode. Now, I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done, done. I had plans to get one villager out of here and finish this system, but then I'd have to build an entire place to put the villager once he was all zombified and unzombified and whatnot, and then he was turned into an armor, and then I got his trades. But yeah, that was too much work for now. I didn't quite have enough time for that. But next episode, I will. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.